From Orlando, Florida, it's theCUBE, covering Sapphire Now. Headline sponsored by SAP HANA Cloud, the leader in platform as a service. With support from Console Inc., the cloud internet company. Now, here are your hosts, John Furrier and Peter Burris. Hey, welcome back everyone. We are here live at SAP Sapphire in Orlando, Florida. This is theCUBE. SiliconANGLE Media's flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier with my co-host Peter Burris. Our next guest is Matt Hayes, VP of SAP Business at Attunity. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, thank you so much. So great to have you on to get the update um, on Attunity. Uh, you've been on theCUBE many times. You guys have been great supporters of theCUBE. Appreciate that and uh, want to get the update. So obviously Attunity, um, we talk about big data. HANA is a big data machine. It does a lot of things fast. Certainly analytics is being talked about here. Um, but how do you guys fit in with SAP? What, what's your role here? What's some of the, how does it fit? Sure, how do you guys sure. fit? Well, this is, I think this is our ninth or tenth time here at Sapphire. We've been in the ecosystem for quite some time. Uh, our Gold Client solution is really designed to help SAP customers move data from production to non-production systems. Uh, and now, more throughout the landscape, um, or the enterprise even. So, you know, as SAP's evolved, we've evolved with SAP, and uh, a lot of our customers get a lot of value by, by taking real live production data out of their production system and moving that to non-production systems, training, sandbox, uh, test environments. Uh, some customers use it for, uh, for troubleshooting. You know, you have a problem with some data in production, you can bring that into a non-production uh, system and test that, uh, and some scrambling capabilities as well. Most SAP customers uh, have, have a lot of risk if they're copying the production data into non-production systems that are less secure, uh, less regulated. So um, uh, some, of the, some of the data scrambling or obfuscation uh, techniques that we have make it so that that data can safely go into those non-production systems and, and be protected. What's, what's been your evolution? Also, you mentioned you guys have been evolving with SAP. So what is the current evolution? What's the highlight? What's the focus? So uh, obviously HANA has is, is been the focus for quite some time and it still is. Um, more and more of our customers are moving to HANA um, and, and adopting that technology. Uh, less so with S4 because you know, that's kind of a, 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 newer, a newer phase. So a lot of people are making the two-step approach of going to HANA and then looking at S4. But cloud as well. Um, you know, we, we, we can really aid in that cloud enablement because the scrambling. When we can scramble that sensitive data, it helps customers feel comfortable and confident that they can put vendor and customer and sens other sensitive data in a, in a, in a cloud-based environment. And where are you guys winning? So what's the main thrust of why you guys are doing business uh, in the SOP, SAP ecosystem? So, um, you know, with, with SAP you're always looking to do things better. Um, and when you do things better, it, it, it results in cost savings on your project. And if you can save money on your project and do things smarter, you free up people's time to, do, to focus on the fun projects, to focus on HANA, to focus on cloud. And um, you know, with our software, with our technology, by copying that data and providing real production data in the development and sandbox environments, we're, we're impacting and improving the change control processes, we're impacting and improving the testing uh, processes within companies, uh, we're enabling some automation of some of those um, processes. Um, Getting things up and running faster in the POC or development environment for yeah, that just, you know, real data. Yeah, yeah, because you can be more nimble. If you, if you have real production data that you're working with while you're prototyping, you can make changes faster. You can be more confident in what you're promoting to production. Uh, you, can be, you can be avoiding um, having a bad transport or a bad change go into the production environment and impact your business. So if you're not having to worry about that kind of stuff, you can worry about the fun stuff. You know, you, you can look at HANA, you can look at cloud, you can, you can look at uh, some, of the, you know, some of the newer technologies that SAP is providing. So you guys, uh, you guys grew up and matured, as you said, you've mm -hmm. grown as SAP has grown. SAP used to be regarded as largely a, 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 an applications company. Mm -hmm. Now SAP, you know, the S4 HANA platform is a platform, and mm -hmm. SAP's talking about partnerships, and they're talking about making this whole platform even more available, mm -hmm. accessible to new developers through the Apple partnership, et cetera, creates a new dynamic for you guys who have historically been focused on being able to automate the movement of data, certain data, certain processes. How are you preparing to potentially have to accommodate an accelerated rate of digitization as a consequence of all these partners now looking at SAP as a platform? You know, that's a great question and it's actually, 
it aligns with Attunity's vision and direction as well. So, you know, SAP, like you said, used to be an applications company. Now, now it's an applications company with a full platform integrated all the way around. And Attunity is the same way. Um, you know, we, we came to Attunity through acquisition and bringing our SAP Gold Client technology, but now we're expanding that. We're expanding it so that we can provide SAP data to other parts of the enterprise. We can combine data, we can combine a, a highly structured SAP data with unstructured data, such as IoT data uh, or social media streams in Hadoop. So, uh, you know, the big data vision for Attunity is what's key, and we're at, right now we're in the process of, of, of blending what we do with SAP with big data, which happens to align with SAP's platform. You know, SAP is obviously helping customers move to HANA on the application side, but there's a whole analytics realm to it uh, that's a bigger, bigger, you know, even a bigger part of SAP's business right now. And that's kind of where we fit in. We're looking at those technologies. We're looking at how we can get data in and out of Hadoop, SAP data in and out of Hadoop, how we can blend that with non-SAP data to provide business value uh, uh, to SAP customers through that. Are you guys mainly focused on-prem, or are you also helping customers move stuff into and out of clouds and inside a hybrid cloud environment? Both, actually. Um, you know, most, most SAP customers are on-premise, so most of our focus is on-premise. Uh, we've seen a lot of customers move to the cloud, uh, either partial or completely. Um, for those customers, they can use our technology the exact same way. Um, and Attunity's replication software uh, works, works on-prem and in the cloud as well. So cloud is definitely a big focus. Also, you know, our relationship with Amazon and, and Redshift, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of cloud capabilities and, and, and needs for moving data you know, between on-premise and the cloud and back and forth. As businesses build increasingly complex workloads, mm -hmm. which they clearly are, from a business standpoint, they're trying to simplify the underlying infrastructure and technology, mm -hmm. but they're trying to support increasingly complex types of work. How do you anticipate that the, uh, the ecosystem's ability to be able to map this onto technology is going to impact the role that data movement plays. Let me be a little bit more specific. Historically, there were certain rules about how much data could be moved and how much work could be done in a single trans or a single group of transactions. Do you, uh, we anticipate that the lost art of data architecture across distances, more complex applications, is going to become more important. Are you being asked by your customers to help them think through, in a global basis, the challenges of data movement mm -hmm. as a set of flows within the enterprise and not just point-to-point -point types of in, in, uh, in, uh, integration? Mm -hmm. I think we're starting to see that. I think, I think it's definitely an evolving aspect of what's going on. Uh, some low-level examples that I can share with you on that are, you know, we have some, some large global customers that have regional SAP environments. They might run one for North America, one for South America, Europe, and Asia Pacific. Well, they're consolidating them. You know, some of those restrictions have been removed and now they're, they're working on consolidating those regional instances into one global uh, SAP instance. And if they're moving, using that as a catalyst to move to HANA, you know, that, that's really where you're getting into that realm where, where, you, where you're taking pieces that used to have to be distributed and broken up and bring, bringing them together. And if you can bring the, if you can bring the, you know, the the structured enterprise application data on the SAP side together, now you can start moving towards some of the other aspects of the data, like, like the analytics pieces and, and, and... But you still have to worry about IoT, which is, are yeah. we gonna, where are we going to process the data? Are we going to bring it back? Are we going to do it locally? You're worrying about uh, sources external to your business. How are you going to move them in so that their intellectual property is controlled, my intellectual property is controlled? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of work that has to go into thinking about uh, the role that data movement is going to play within business design. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and I actually think that that's part of the part of the pieces that need to evolve over the next couple of years. It's kind of like the first time that you were here and, he and heard about Hana, and here we are, you know, eight years later, and it's and and, and we understand the vision and the roadmap that that's played. Um, that's happening now too. When you talk to SAP customers, some of them have clearly adopted the Hadoop technology and figured out how to make that work. You've got SAP Vora technology to bring data in and out of HANA from Hadoop. But that stuff is all brand new. Um, we're, we're not talking to a lot of customers that are, that are using those. They're on the roadmap, they're looking at ways to do it, how to do it, but, but right now it's part of the roadmap. I think what's going to be key for us at Attunity is really, really find, helping customers blend that data, that IoT data, that social media stream data with structured data from SAP. If I can take my customer master out of SAP and have that participate 
with IoT data, or if I can take my equipment master data out of SAP and combine that with log data, IoT data, I can start really doing predictive analytics, and if I can do those predictive analytics um, with that unstructured data, I can, I can use that to automate features within my enterprise application. So for example, if I know a part's going to fail um, you know, between 500 and 1,000 hours of use, then I can, I can proactively create maintenance tickets or service notifications or something that, that uh, so we can repair the, the device before it actually breaks. So talk about the, uh, for the folks out there who want to kind of know the Attunity story a little bit more, mm -hmm. take a minute to explain kind of where you fit in and where you, where SAP hands off to you and where you fit specifically because, you know, big data management and, and this is, these are important technologies but some say, well doesn't SAP have that? Mm -hmm. So where's the handoff? Where's, where do you guys sister up against these guys the best? Mm -hmm. How should customers or potential customers know where, when to call you right. and, and, and whatnot? So, I often refer to SAP as, um, you know, our 747 jumbo jet, right? So it's so it's 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 the big plane and it's got everything in it. Anything and all and all that you need to do, you could probably do it somewhere inside of SAP. There's an application for it. There's a platform for it. There's there's now a database for it. There's everything. So um, a lot of customers work only in that in that realm. But there's a lot of customers that that work outside of that too. SAP is an important part of the enterprise landscape. But there's other pieces too. People who are nibbling at the solution, not fully baked out SAP. Right. Right. They do one app. Yeah, and, and SAP's great at, at providing tools, to, for example, to load data into HANA. There's a lot of capability to, to take non-SAP source data and bring it into HANA. Um, but w what if you want to move that data around? What if you want to do some things different with it? What if you wanted to move some data out and back in? What if you want to, you, you know, there's, there's just a lot of things that you want to be able to do with the data. And, you know, if, 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 if you're all in on the SAP side and you're all into the HANA platform and that's what you're doing, you've probably got all the pieces to do that. But if you've got some pieces that are outside of that and you need it all to play together, that's where Attunity comes in great. Because Attunity has that, um, you know, you know we're, we're impartial to that. We can take data and move it around wherever. Um, of course, SAP is a really important part of our play and what we do. Um, but we need to understand what the customers are doing. And every day we talk to customers that are always looking to Give get their... Give an example. SAP. Give a good example of that customer that you work with. Um, Use case. Yeah. Um, let's see, most of my examples are going to be SAP-centric, SAP but um, okay. we've got a couple customers, I don't know if I can mention their names, um, where they come to us and say, hey, we've got all this SAP data, and we might have 30 different SAP systems, and we need all of that SAP data to pool together for us to be able to analyze it, and then we have non-SAP data that we want to partner with that as well. Uh, there might be Teradata, might be Hadoop, uh, might be you know s some some Oracle applications that are external that touch in, um, and you know that the, these companies have these complex visions of figuring out how to do it. So when you look at Attunity and what we provide, we've got all these great solutions. We've got the replication technology, we've got the data model on the SAP side to copy the SAP data. We now have the data warehouse automation solution with Compose that keeps finding niche ways to work in to be, to be highly um, But the main applicable. value proposition is moving data around yeah. within SAP, give or take the jumbo jet or 737 mm -hmm. or a little. Well, well you know. sometimes you just got to go down to the store and buy a half gallon of milk, right? <laughs> and you're not going to jump in the jumbo jet to go down and get the milk. And right. You need tooling that makes it easy to get it. Got yeah. milk, it's a new slogan, got data. <laughs> got we should actually, data. We should, data. We should well, trademark you're, that. Yeah, the marketing yeah. side now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so vibe of the show. What's your take at SAP here? You've been here nine years, you've been looking mm -hmm. around the landscape. You guys have been evolving with it. Certainly it's exciting now. Mm -hmm. You're hearing real, you know, ex concrete examples of SAP showing some of the dashboards that McDermott's been showing for year, every year. Yeah. I mean, I remember when he, the iPad came out, oh, the iPad's the most amazing thing. Mm -hmm. Of course, analytics is pretty obvious. That stuff's now coming to fruition. So there's a lot of growth going on. Mm -hmm. What's your vibe of the show? Are you seeing that? Can you share any yeah, color I mean, commentary, I, I, hallway you know, conversations? Sapphire is, you know, you get everything. Uh, you know, it's it, like you said, the half gallon of milk. Well, we're at the supermarket right now. You need milk, you need eggs, you need flowers, whatever you need, it's here. The cake can um, be baked if you, have all, the, yeah. you have all the ingredients. <laughs> As Steve Jobs says, put good frosting on it. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's the UX. But lots of butter and lots of sugar. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's, you know, there's, the, the, there's so many different focuses, um, you know, here at Sapphire that it's a very broad show and, you know, you're, you, you have an opportunity, for us it's a great opportunity to work with our partners closer, and it's also a good opportunity to talk to our customers, and, and, and certain, 
you know, levels within our customers, CIOs, VPs and, and of both IT's. together. Yeah, they're all exactly. Here. Right, they're, they're all here. here. And you, you, you get to hear what their, what their broader vision is. Because every day we're talking to customers, and yeah, we're hearing their broader vision, but here we hear more of it in a very confined space, and we get to map that up against our roadmap and see what we're doing and kind of say, yeah, we're, we're on the right track. I mean, we need to be on, uh, on the right track in two fronts. Uh, first and foremost with our customers, and second of all with, with SAP. And that's that, you know, part of our long-term success has been watching SAP and saying, okay, we can see where they're going with this, we can see where they're going with this, and this one's, they're driving really fast on, we got to get on this track. You know, HANA. Yeah. Um, so For the folks watching that aren't here, any highlights that you'd like to share? Wow, uh, well you guys said yourself Reggie Jackson was here the other night. That was pretty fantastic. I'm a huge baseball fan, uh, yeah. go Cubbies. Um, <laughs> but it was fun to see Reggie Jackson and, and Bart Ball. You know, you had a share of uh, uh, yeah. uh, calamities like the Red Sox. I'm yeah. a Red Sox fan, so up until yeah. 2000. Yeah, your wounds have been healed. Yeah. Though. <laughs> We've been the holy water been thrown from Babe Ruth. Uh, it was great. Reggie, though, was interesting because um, we talked about a baseball concept that was about the unwritten rules. We saw Batista mm. get 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 cold cocked yeah. uh, <laughs> yeah. a couple of days ago, um, and it brought up this whole unwritten rules. And we kind of had a tie into business, which is. The rules are changing, certainly in the business that we're in. And he talked about the unwritten rules of baseball. And mm -hmm. at the end, he said, no, they're not unwritten rules, they're written. And he was hardcore, like, MLB should not be messing with the game. Yeah. I mean, Batista got fined, I think, what, five games was it that came yeah. out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he, five got, games? he got one game, and the guy that punched him got eight. That's right, no, that's right. Eight guy got eight games, that's right. Yeah. So, okay, MLB's putting pressure on them, structuring the game. Right. Should we let this stuff go? He came in, you know, late. Second base, okay. Yeah. What well, do you, what's your take on that? I mean, as a baseball fan, I love the unwritten rules. I love, I love the fact that the players police the game. Well, that's what he was talking about. In his mind, yeah. that's exactly what he's saying. That the rules amongst the players for policing the game are right. very, very well understood. And as baseball tries to legislate and take it out of the players' hands, it's going to lead to a whole bunch of chaotic behavior. Yep. And he's probably right. Yeah. yeah. And you've got, you've already got, um, you've already got replay. And, and what was it? The Mets guy said he misses arguing with the with the with the, with umpires. the umpires. And the next day he got thrown out. <laughs> <laughs> Probably because he wanted to get thrown out. He needed a day yeah. off. What's going on with the tuning? What's next for you guys? Give us some uh, um, color on what's next for you guys. What's next mm -hmm. show? What's going on in the business? What's so, your goals? So um, you know, show wise, this is one of our most important shows of the year, events of the year. Uh, we'll always be a tech ed. You know, tech ed's a very targeted audience for us. Um, we have a new version of Gold Client that that's out uh, that later this month. Um, more under the hood stuff, just making things faster and aligning it better with HANA and things like that. Um, but you know, we're really focused on integrating the solutions at Attunity right now. I mean, you look at Attunity, and you know, Attunity is grown by acquisition, right? Um, you know, the RepliWeb acquisition in '11, the acquisition of my company in 2013. We've added Compose, we've added Visibility. So now we've got this. This, th yeah, we've got this bre breadth of solutions here, and we're we're, we're now knitting them together. And they're really coming together nicely. The Compose product, the data warehouse automation, I mean, it's a new concept, but every time we show it to somebody, they love it. And um, you, know, you, can't really, you can't really point it at an SAP database because you know, the data model's too complex, but um, for data warehouses of, of applications that have fairly, you know, simple data models where you just need to do some data warehousing, basic data warehousing, it's phenomenal. Um, and we've even figured out with SAP how we can break down certain aspects of that data, like just the financial data. If we just break down the financial data, can we create some, some replication and some change data capture there using the replicate technology and then feed it into Compose and provide a, provide a simple data warehouse um, solution that basic users can use? You know, you've got your BW, you've got your business objects and all that, but there's always that lower level. You know, yeah. we're always talking to customers where they're still doing stuff like downloading contents of tables into spreadsheets yeah. and working with it. You know, so Compose kind of fits a niche there. Um, the visibility, being able to identify what data is being used and what's not used. You know, you, you know, we're looking at combining that um, or pointing that at an SAP system, and combining that with archiving technology and data retention technologies to figure out how we can tell a customer, all right, here's your data retention policies, but here's really where you're touching and where you're not touching your data, and how can we move that around and get that out? Great stuff, Matt, thanks for coming on theCUBE, appreciate that, knitting it all together, congratulations on your success, and again, it's early stages, early, it's just going to get bigger and bigger, so you know, having that robust platform, and remember, not everyone runs their entire business on SAP, so mm -hmm. there's a lot of other data sources coming around the corner. 
Yeah, that's for sure. And okay. we're you know we're well positioned and well aligned to deal with all all types of data. Me as an SAP guy, I love working with the SAP data, but. Um, you know, we, we've got a broader vision, and yeah. I think our broader vision's really aligned nicely with what our customers Interoperating need. Interoperating the data, making it work for you. Um, got data is a new slogan here on theCUBE. <laughs> uh, we're going to coin that. Got milk, got data, thanks to Peter Burris. Bringing the magic here on theCUBE. We are live in Orlando, you're watching theCUBE. There'll be millions of people in the near future that are, want to be involved in their own personal well-being and in wellness. 